Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how web access works on Buffalo NAS drives which are now cloud based and how to configure it so as to access it from anywhere on the internet say via web browser, iPhones, iPads, Android smartphones, etc. The NAS drive typically is in a home network behind the home broadband router on a private IP address. Your home internet will mostly be having a public IP address which would be changing from time to time. We want to be able to access the NAS drive from any place outside home like office, public internet, etc. Buffalo enables this by a feature called web access. After enabling web access, our NAS drive communicates with buffalonas.com with our parameters like NAS name, private IP address, internal port number, our public IP address at the time and external port number. The NAS name has to be a unique name which will distinguish us from any Buffalo NAS owner on the internet. Also, it is better to set the NAS with a static IP address or at least reserve its IP address in DSCP reservation on your router because we have to set this IP address in our home broadband router. This way we get registered with buffalonas.com. Now when we have to access our NAS drive from say our office, we can go to a browser and enter buffalonas.com slash buffalonas test123. Now this request will go to buffalonas.com and since we have already registered with buffalo, we will be given our current public IP address and the port on which we can access the NAS. This request will now go to our public IP address and port number. The router should now forward the traffic to our NAS as we made necessary changes in the router. If you don't already know your IP address, you can use the NAS navigator and you can come to know the IP address and go to settings and open the web page for the NAS drive, login. The first thing we have to check is that the network parameters are proper, the IP address, the mask, the gateway and the DNS because if your NAS drive does not have internet access, the web access will not work. Below you can see the easy web access settings. This is the setting you must do generally. If and only if this setting is not working, click on advanced web access settings. You have to enable the web access service. Let the SSL be on. This is for high security. This is the place where you have to enter the unique name. This is the password so that nobody else uses your same NAS name. Change the auto configure firewall to disable. You have to keep this enabled if you are 100% sure that your router supports UPnP. The external port and internal port let them be as it is and save it. The NAS now communicates with buffalonas.com with all the parameters you have given. It will take some time for the data to be saved and the NAS will communicate with buffalonas.com and then it will come back whether it is active or not. This is the URL you have to use if you have to access your NAS drive over the internet. Now log in to your home broadband router. You don't have to do any changes on your router if you are sure that UPnP works. Go to application and gaming. Give a name. Set your external port number. You can go back to your NAS drive and see whether you are entering it properly or not. Enter your internal port number. Put the IP address of your NAS drive. Enable it and click on save settings. Currently I'm using my office internet. I'll open a browser and I'll type the URL which uh, was given in the NAS drive. So here it is my home NAS drive accessible from my office. I'll put my username and password and I'll log in. and a folder is visible. You can use the web access app 
on Android as well as uh, iOS if you have to access your NAS drive over the internet or even in your home network. Uh, open the app and uh, you will be prompted for NAS registration. Just put the unique name for your NAS. It will communicate with buffalonas.com and uh, verify. You have to be very sure that your NAS is working before you do this step or, or else the app will keep on hanging. It is better to verify it via the browser before attempting via the app. Enter the username and password you have as a user on the NAS. And my registration is complete. My folders will be seen now. Here it is. My folder is seen. Thanks for watching and do subscribe.